Hey guys, welcome to the Scale Swap IDO participation guide. Finally, we had time to make this guide for you. And first of all, the general information. We do 100% support MetaMask uh, desktop. We don't support MetaMask or other uh, on uh, or other wallets on uh, browsers like Chrome Mobile or Safari Mobile. We do support some of uh, built-in browser in some wallets like uh, Trust Wallet with built-in browser, but this is not 100% guaranteed. Therefore, we encourage you to use really MetaMask on desktop, then we can guarantee for you uh, a seamless experience of IDO. I want to connect my wallet now. For this, I select a testnet wallet because this is a test application. Now I can see the full header. I see balances across Ethereum and Polygon network. And I scroll down and see the active pool. Because I want to participate in the pool, I need wrapped Ether on the Polygon side. The easiest way to have wrapped Ether on the Polygon side is to use our implementation of Polygon Bridge. In order to go to this uh, implementation, you need to click on the symbol of wallet either Ethereum or Polygon. I go to the first widget and let's say I want to transfer one Ether to Polygon. Let's do this. Put in one Ether, confirming on MetaMask. And now my one Ether is on the way to the Polygon to get in wrapped Ether on Polygon. I see this on transfer, initiated transfer widget where I see how uh, the transaction is propagating to Polygon. This can take, unfortunately, time. It can take 15 minutes, it can take uh, one hour. Therefore, we encourage you to do this early enough. After 18 8 minutes, I see that uh, one Ether increased on the Polygon side and one Ether decreased on the Ethereum side. So the overall amount of Ether and wrapped Ether is the same uh, across Polygon and Ethereum ecosystem. Uh, impo important concept of a bridge. Finally, we have enough Ether to participate on the pool. Let's go to the pool detail page on clicking on pool name. You see some details here and uh, like address on Polygon, address on Ethereum, ticker symbol, start end date of the pool, minimum maximum allocation, hard cap, soft cap, all the important details. Another interesting parameter is the swap rate. So you need to calculate exactly how much wrapped ether you want to spend uh, to buy test K token. Well, if you are whitelisted, you will see the whitelist is successful message on the right side. That means nothing holds you on from participating on the pool. All you need to do is just to go to the join pool widget and to type in your wished amount of wrapped ether. And you see, for this amount of wrapped ether, I get 50 test K token. Now I just need to participate on the pool and then let's do this. Sign the message. The transaction is now propagating via our relayer to the Polygon network. Therefore, you don't need to pay anything. No Matic token, no gas fee. We do this for you. Now we need just to wait and to see when your token has been refreshed on your allocation. After refreshing the token, you will not be able to participate because you already bought the maximum amount. Therefore, anything what you can do now is to wait to the end of the pool and to claim your tokens. I'm going to do so. Let's click on claim waiting a bit and now my token are claimed i can even check this one into metamask and see how many SCA token or test SCA token i have for this i need to switch to mumbai test network of polygon and i see i have test SCA token so everything works smoothly if i want to have test k token on ethereum main network i need to transfer them back from polygon to ethereum for this i need to visit the transfer wallet page again to go to the second widget and to select the token of my choice. 
test SK in my case. I will put a maximum amount of 50SK token, and this is two-step process. I need to execute first one step, which can take 15 minutes, and another step, which can take another one hour. There is no way, unfortunately, to avoid these two steps. Therefore, I need to be patient and to wait. Let's execute this transaction. I sign this. My transaction is now on the way to Ethereum main network from Polygon. I see also in initiated transfers that I initiated a transfer of 50 TSK token to uh, Ethereum. Now I need to be patient and to wait. After waiting for eight minutes, I continue with step number two and execute this transaction by signing this one. And the same thing here. I need to wait until the transaction has been propagating to uh, my wallet on Ethereum. This can take, again, 15 hour, minu minutes, maybe even one hour. It's success, transaction has been propagated. Let's check uh, our Ethereum wallet if amount of test K token increases by 50. And exactly, it increased. I got my 50 test K token on my Ethereum wallet. I want to show you now some inconvenience in naming on Polygon side of Ethereum. As you know, we need to wrap Ethereum in order to participate on SkillSwap IDO. If you go to QuickSwap Exchange on Polygon, you will see that the token, token um, name is Ethereum. And this is the correct Ethereum or correct wrapped Ethereum. Be sure not to select Matic wrapped Ethereum, which is a wrong asset. This Ethereum, Ethereum proof of stake is the correct asset to buy on QuickSwap. Now let's visit Matic bridge. In this bridge, you can uh, shift Ether to wrapped Ether on Polygon side or even SK tokens later. I am now on Gorilla and Mumbai test networks. And you see on the Mumbai network, it called POS wrapped Ether, proof of stake wrapped Ether. This is the asset what we need. Also, I want to show you the right contract of wrapped Ether on Polygon. This is the right, the correct wrapped Ether contract. You see the ticker wrapped Ether, the total supply, the holders numbers, in the last step, I want to show you how to add test K or SK token to your MetaMask wallet. It's very simple. You go to the full details page, you copy the contract on Ethereum, then you can add token. After added token, I see ticker symbol automatically. I just need to add this one and that's it. Later, we'll be able to see your balance of test K token on Ethereum side here. The same thing I can do on the Polygon side. I just copy the address on Polygon side. I switch my MetaMask to Polygon network. I add the address and I see TSCA on Polygon side. 